Good morning, Los Angeles. This is Bobby Wygant, KXAS TV, Channel 5, NBC affiliate, Dallas Fort Worth. Bobby, can you hear us? I can hear you beautifully. Great. Okay. I'll just see it. Can you see us? I can see you on the monitor. We, we can see you too. No, you nope. can't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning, Steve Martin and Charles Grodin. This is Bobby Wygant at KXAS TV, NBC affiliate Channel 5, Dallas Fort Worth. How y'all doing? Hi, Bobby. We're fine. How are you? Well, it's a little early here, but it's even earlier where you are. As a matter of fact, I was just sitting here thinking that the reason you guys are so lonely is, hey, there's nobody up at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's great that you acknowledge that it's early there, but it's important that you acknowledge that it's earlier here uh, for our own ego. <laughs> Two hours earlier. Uh, this movie, The Lonely Guy, is about loneliness. And uh, I, I'm curious to know if the two of you have any advice for lonely people. Well, the movie is filled with it. <laughs> so if you go see the movie, you get a lot of advice. Uh, no, actually, the, the picture is based on a book by Bruce J. Friedman called The Lonely Guy's Book of Life, in which he gave advice to lonely guys. So it's, uh, you know, it's about how to live alone, how to eat alone, uh, how to try and meet people. Uh, it's not about singles dating. It's about a person who really wants to uh, meet someone on f for a long term in his struggle, and he meets Chuck, who's... Uh, a pr who plays a very uh, depressed guy who's always giving me advice, like buy a fern so I can talk to it and watch football games with it. What other advice do you give me? I, I, I see the movie uh, more as a diamond smuggling movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that the cartel tries to control the value of diamonds that are, that are, that are shipped into uh, Egypt. But you never see that in his you performance. You don't see that in my performance, no, but no. I... I uh, I, I see the movie that way. The director, Arthur Hiller, kept him from that idea, which he kept throughout. We, we knew the picture was about loneliness, and uh, Chuck was always going for the diamond smuggling I, I thing, had done a picture about diamond smuggling about 10 years ago that wasn't successful, and I, and I just know there's a good movie there. And so I'm kind of playing this movie with that in mind. I don't know whether it comes across, but if you find yourself thinking about jewelry when I'm on the screen, I think my work will have uh, come through. I wonder, Charles, is a fern much more compatible for a lonely person than, say, you know, a philodendron or something? A fern? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really relate to the movie uh, that, you, that you're seeing there. Uh, I'm, I'm really <laughs> in my own movie. He's more interested in the diamond aspect. The diamond of aspect of, of now, if ferns. You, if you see the movie, you'll know that there are no diamonds in there. It's, strict, it's about ferns a lot and, and plants and how we can communicate with the plants. It's, it's a comedy about, about a, a subject that's serious, but it's, uh, it, it finds the humor in people trying to get through life, <laughs> uh, get, just get through their life feeling loneliness that we all feel. Charles, what's the loneliest you've ever been? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, I thought I, you know, was coming through no, it's warmly. No, it's not, it's not you, Bobby. No one can do anything about this. It's just a very strong... I'm just not used to... Uh, you know, I was up at 10 after 1, and... Uh, just to get ready for the show. Just to get ready, because, you know, I'm, I'm actually a, a, uh, a, an elderly woman. <laughs> and and uh, so it took a, quite a lot of time to get me to look like this. <laughs> it's been six hours just to get ready for Dallas uh, this morning, and uh, I hope uh, that you all appreciate it out there. Yeah, you just look super. <laughs> Thank you. Steve, how about you? What's the loneliest time you've ever had in your life besides <laughs> now? <laughs> I think it was my college days when, uh, you know, kind of wandering around campus. I was uh, very studious at college and uh, really interested in girls and never met a girl, I think, for four years. Never met one girl at school. And I was living alone in a little tiny uh, apartment that cost $60 a month and uh, struggling <laughs> to make that uh, payment. And, and I, I was working on the weekends and, and going to school. And I just very difficult to meet anybody. Where were you going to college? Pardon me? Where were you going to college? I was at, uh, in Long Beach, uh, California. Now, all you just told me, did maybe you Maybe one of the, sorry, maybe the one, one of the, there was no college there then. 
So maybe that's one of the reasons I couldn't meet anybody. <laughs> There's a scene in the movie where you're eating alone in a restaurant. And a uh, funny scene, by the way. Thank uh, you. Is this something that you ever do, is eat alone in a restaurant? Yes. Uh, I, I've always, uh, before I became a comedian, I was eating alone a lot in restaurants. And it is a, a I think it's portrayed kind of accurately in the movie in, in an exaggerated way. You really feel conspicuous. Uh, you feel like everyone's looking at you and, and you're always trying to act like you're waiting for someone to show up. You never let them take the other plate. And you kind of look out the door to say, oh, they'll be here in a second. And, and still today, you know, because I live alone, it's, it's, uh, you don't always have someone to eat with. Actually, uh, in that scene that you, you spoke of, you don't see Steve eat that much. Steve eats alone because of the way he eats. <laughs> A lot of us just prefer not to eat with Steve, but meet him after uh, after he's eaten. You mean he kind of slings the food around, or he what? Does, yeah, he does. He does. Well, he I think have the chewing with the mouth open is the main that, thing. That and uh, you know, uh, it's it's you don't want to eat with Steve. I'm gonna, uh. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot of fun. He's a great guy, but you meet him after or before meals. Okay. And I always take along a, a, a change of shirt. So after I eat now you get and, and I meet somebody, I will put on a different shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Steve, uh, this is your fifth movie. And uh, your films have uh, ranked all the way from highly successful to uh, films that the critics have really kind of gone after. Uh, the Jerk, was that the most successful one at the box office? Yes. And the least successful was what? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a point. I think uh, the least uh, successful financially was The Man with Two Brains, uh, which opened on the same day as uh, Return of the Jedi and Superman III. Um, so I like to think that had, that had some kind of effect of it. The, the real question is, uh, a lot of my pictures have been criticized, but the real question is, were they bad? And uh, I don't think they were. I think. Uh, a lot of people come up to me now and say, boy, the jerk was really funny, or I love Pennies from Heaven, or boy, I saw Deadman and really liked it. And that's, uh, you know, you have one hand, you have, have sort of a commercial consideration, and on the other hand, you have the entertainment artistic consideration. And I think in the entertainment world, the, the pictures have been good, and uh, for one reason or another, uh, uh, financial, well, Deadman did well, and the jerk did well, so I'm two for four in, uh, in, in, in the commercial department. And this one will make it uh, uh, three for five. I'm you not bet. Gonna say which way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve, are you trying to put out to pasture the wild and crazy guy, or are you still doing quite a few concerts and doing the kinds of things that we're you're famous for? Well, I haven't done the uh, concerts for a long time because I've been making movies. So um, right now, I'm really uh, interested in pictures. I've done some TV, the new show I did. Uh, couple of weeks ago and I've got uh, my concert act now on uh, videotape on Showtime I don't know if you get that there or not on Showtime cable yes we do and uh, so that's out and then I have another picture coming out in, in the summer with Lily, Lily Tomlin so I'm really uh, busy in the in the movie world but are you really trying to kind of get away from the wild and crazy guy image well I haven't really done it for about three and a half years, so I guess you might say I am. And do you find that your fans uh, like that, or do they resent that? No, no one's uh, resented it. I well, think I resent it, because uh, <laughs> I enjoy him so much when he does that, and I don't know why he's bothering me with all these movies. I just, uh, I just wish he'd get out there and do that, uh, that wild and crazy guy thing. Well, they're giving us our uh, time signals and telling us that we've used up all our time, but we thank you both for getting up awfully early and uh, for talking with us by satellite. And Thanks, Bobby. Thank you. And Bye. good luck with The Lonely Guy. Thank you. Hello to Dallas. <laughs>